We're here today to watch my boat being vinyl wrapped by Grapefruit Graphics. Uh, the way it works is the standard white finish is just a normal gel coat, but in order to change the colour or if you've got a colour that's faded, you can wrap the whole boat in vinyl. And it's an alternative to painting, but a lot simpler, quicker, cheaper, and a little bit more temporary, because if you decide you want to change the colour in three, four, five years time, it's fairly easy to take it off and start again. So let's see what the guys are up to now. The first step in the process is actually to prepare the surface ready for the vinyl wrapping. So in the case of this boat, you need to take off all the graphics that are already there. So there was a big Karnik sticker which is already gone and the little styling lines are now being peeled off. There is an option to do this yourself, which will save a little bit of money, or you can get the guys to quote for you and do that as part of the job itself. So I've got a little bit of a scratch on the hull here, and in order to make sure we get a nice clean finish with the vinyl, I'm having to fill that with a little bit of gel coat filler. So I've mixed it up here and just applying a thin layer, which will dry nice and quickly in about an hour, then I can sand it down and make sure we've got a nice smooth finish there. These are the styling lines for the boat, which again, just little thin bits of vinyl, much the same as what we're going to put on there. But before we put the new vinyl over, these have to come off to make sure there isn't a little line underneath that you can still see through it. So now all the stripes and styling lines have come off, the next step is to clean the surface of any kind of contaminant. So anything that's had some kind of Teflon or polish, uh, or in fact the glue that's been holding the little vinyl stripes on, everything has to come off so there's a nice clean surface that the vinyl can be applied to. The next stage is to prepare for the vinyl which involves putting a little vinyl cutter, which is a very thin filament of Kevlar, which Phil is applying here, so that you can wrap over it, and then when the wrap is all in place, you can simply peel back that filament, and it'll cut the wrap like a cheese wire, and leave a very nice, clean, sharp finish. Along this waterline, you can see there's a little bit of algae staining in the actual gel coat. So what I've done is apply some Y10 gel, which bleaches out the brown and will hopefully make sure that it matches up with where this stripe has been. At the moment you can see a little bit of a difference between the colours, but now I've put this bleaching effect on, it should take out any of that staining and make sure we have a nice clean white line. This is the vinyl that I've chosen to go on the boat. Uh, it's made by a company called MacTag and I've gone for a kind of silvery grey effect, which is all currently on this big roll. They're going to unroll it and then start to apply it to the top sides of the boat, so hopefully when it's finished it will have a nice silvery grey, almost slightly metallic effect. So now the guys are just hanging the vinyl to see how it's going to fit along the boat, just temporarily tack it in place so they can make sure they've got it hanging about right and then they'll proceed to the actual proper final wrapping stage. So now they've actually started to apply the vinyl itself, once the backing has come off the adhesive enables it to stick to the boat and as you can see we're, they're rapidly smoothing it out, taking out all the bubbles to make sure that it's properly adhered to the surface. This is the colour I've gone for which is a glossy silver. Um, it's relatively conventional and much like a glossy finished paint surface but it has this clear lacquer on that gives it that very shiny look and should mean that it's good for a, a, at least five years before there's any sign of fade or scratching. Now the guys are putting the finishing touches around the details of the boat so we've got a skin fitting here and as you can see it's been shrink wrapped and carefully pushed right up against the skin fitting itself and now it's just being cut around with a sharp razor blade. The vinyl's all been neatly applied here and if you remember earlier on there was this little Kevlar filament applied to cut a nice clean edge on the vinyl. So that has now been pulled the vinyl is cut and now the excess has just been carefully removed by Phil. You can see Phil just going round with a heat gun which softens up the vinyl and means he can stretch it in to fit this knuckle in the top side. You can see him smoothing it down with the combination of heat to soften the vinyl and a little plastic squeegee to fit it nice and neatly into that knuckle. The final stage in the process is what's called a post heat. So the vinyl has now been applied and wrapped around the boat, but it all, it's always trying to go back to its original shape. It's what they call the, the memory in the vinyl. So they have to go over the whole thing again with a heat gun just to ensure that it sets the vinyl, it relaxes it and then sets it in the position that it's been applied to on the boat. 
so that then there's no danger of it moving under the heat of the sun, it's locked in that position. One of the questions people ask a lot is what happens if you actually scratch the boat and cut through the vinyl itself? And the answer is you just patch it over with a fresh piece. Now we can see the final styling line being applied, which I've gone for a graphite, sort of metallic effect graphite. And as you can see, Phil peeling away the backing paper, you can see it being revealed perfectly smooth, perfectly straight. And here is the finished result. So this morning, at half past nine, we had a white boat looking a little bit tired, a bit hard. Now, four to five, it feels like I have a brand new boat. It really does look and feel like a new boat. I've got to say, I'm pretty chuffed with it.